Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techie Brain. In this video, I will show how to auto grade a short answer. For that, we are going to create a quiz with short answer. Then we are going to set the answer key for the quiz. After that, we are going to preview the quiz with correct answers as well as wrong answers for good understanding. Generally, we can categorize the short answer into two types. One is short answer with one or two words. Another one is short answer with one or two sentences. Short answer with one or two words can be auto-validated. Short answer with one or two sentences need a manual review. In this video, we will see how to auto validate this short answer. But if you want to know how to manually review this short answer, please refer my previous video by clicking the link above. Login into your Google Drive. Then select Google Forms. We will be getting a new empty form. So before start designing the quiz in the setting menu, in quiz tab, make this quiz mode enable so that we can design the answer key. Save the settings. For example, I am going to make a computer quiz. So my title will be computer quiz. Now Let's see how to make the short answer. Click on add question, choose the short answer, then start typing your question. Say example, my first question is 1 half byte equals to how many kilobytes? Once we click on this answer key, the option to enter the correct answer will appear here. We have to type the correct answer for this short answer here. Then we can give some points and we can mark all the other answers incorrect and we can give some feedback to the short answer here. Save the feedback. Now answer key for question 1 is done. Let's design our next question by clicking the add question button. My next question is brain of computer is choose the short answer here. Now set the answer key. We can set all the possible correct answers here. Here I'm typing two possible answers CPU with caps as well as small letter. We can add as many possible answers here. I am giving some feedback as well. Save the feedback. So the answer key for question 2 is done. Now let's design our next question by clicking the add question button. So my next question is who invented computer? Choose the short answer here. Let's set the answer key now. So the correct answer is having two words. So we have many possible answers here. So we can type all the possible answers one by one. So here I have given with the small letter. With space, without space, all caps. So we can type all the possible answers that the student may enter. I entered these many possible answer combinations. Then I am giving some points here. Mark other answers incorrect and some feedback. I almost enter 8 to 10 possible correct answer combinations that the student may enter in the quiz. 
Now let's preview the quiz. Let's preview the quiz now. I am entering some random answers here. CPU. I am entering a wrong spelling for this question. Let's see how system validates this. Submit the quiz. New score. Okay. So the quiz was auto validated here the student got one out of three and the possible answer list is visible for the student we can hide it let's see how to hide this possible answer list from the student in settings in quiz tab disable this correct answer field Save the settings. Now the possible answer list is hidden from the student. I'm entering the answer without space. See the process auto validated. The student got P out of P. He got all the questions right. Friends, hope you like this video. Like, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.